Hello and welcome internet, Malky360 here today. Finally back for part 23 of our Pokemon Platinum Randomized Luzlocke. In the last part we made our way here to this town, which I forget, but during the grind montage we uh, we got an egg from Riley, I think his name is, from the Iron Island. And that's what I've been doing, just hatching it. So, let's see what we get in this egg. Let's see if we get anything good. That is good. Oh. oh, that's awesome. What the fuck do I usually name my balloons though? Oh, I can't remember what I named my balloons. Fuck! I don't want to grab my DS because uh, I don't know where my Pokemon. I don't know where my Omega Ruby is. What the fuck do I usually name my balloons though? Oh my god, I know I have a good name for them too. Okay, be right back. All right, we're back. I actually do remember what I nicknamed my Berlooms. 
and a grass knuckle. It's supposed to be grass knuckles, but there we go. All right, well, I'm gonna do a quick uh, team recap after I get my other sixth member. So we are back. All right, we're back. First up, we have our Pyrrha the Magnezone. I found a magnet in uh, the Iron Islands. So yeah, that's what she thought she's holding. And uh, she learned Discharge, and that's about all the difference in her moveset. Anyway, up next we got Spectre, our Sneasel. Nothing changed, just level 40. That's what all my Pokemon are, so uh, you're aware. Up next we got Majora, our Dusclops. Uh, yeah, same moveset. Shadow Punch, Willow Wisp, Shadow Sneak, and Confuse Ray. Basic moveset, easy to remember. If only the Evil Light was in this game, it would be incredible. Up next, we got Robin, our Gardevoir. You need to have the Mind Plate, but anyway, same moveset again. It tried to learn something else. I can't remember what it was. Uh, and then Scorp, our Gliscor. Again, same moveset. Nothing different about him. Uh, and Skeptical, our Sceptile that we obtained in the last part. Again, same moveset, level 40. So now we're going to go face Byron and get our badge, hopefully, in this part. As long as there's no fucking surprise berry. Surprise berry appearances, which there shouldn't be because I faced them before I started grinding. So, yeah. Hold on, just check to make sure audio is good. Still represents an unbinding spirit. If one refuses to accept defeat, the path to victory reveals itself. That's what you think. You are challenged by Black Belt Ricky. Ricky sent out Hermaldo. Uh, let's go for a discharge. I haven't gotten to make use of this since I, uh, since I learned it. I think I learned it at level 40, so. Oh, yay. That's gonna do so much damage. Shockwave, you fuckboy. I hate them. Hate protecting Armaldos. Holy, that was a lot of experience. Oh yeah, before I forget. Uh, I was a world before I was a man. Fuck it. Wait, did I choose experience? I did. Oops. Uh, mind plates. I also found the iron plate as well. I found a protector as well. Shiny stone. Yeah. Basic stuff that I found while uh, exploring that one place. Uh, Iron Island. Yeah. You are challenged by worker Gary. And Gary sent out Jigglypuff. Die, Jigglypuff! You died. Alright. Oh, that sounded really weird. I didn't like that. Oh, sweet. Went the exact same direction. What's your story? An ace has the knowledge and experience of battling at high levels. I'll demonstrate what that means to a noob like you. Ace trainer Caesar. He sent out a Yan Maga. Yan, yeah, blah, blah. There was the Yan Megas in that. Oh my god, there were so many good Pokemon in Iron Isle. It was ridiculous. There was Yan Megas, Yanmas, fucking. What else is there? There was an Agron in there. There was Golbats. Oh, yay. Okay, this is a waste of time. Anyway, what else is there? There were so many good Pokemon in Iron Island, it was not even funny. I can't remember what I got out of it. It was something stupid. Okay. Well, yeah, just some stupid Pokemon that I found there. I don't even know if I caught it. I think I did. If I did, it should be in my... Oh, hey, look. Cranidos. Uh, Sceptile should be able to do this. Skeptical. Oh, hey, you lowered my speed. Awesome. I'm still faster? Wow, Cranidos, you're so slow. Meter and mail. Let's go, Robin. Psychic. Nummel. Do I have any? I don't have any water types. Uh, Scorp doesn't have any ground type moves. I'll stay in. It's just a Nummel. 
Psychic. Let's do it. Let's go. Easy. Worker Jackson. You've got me feeling down. Bro. Oh, yay. Absolutely nothing. Where the fuck do I go then? Okay. This way, maybe? This way leads me nowhere. Okay, I'm confused now. Oh, I didn't even see that. I'm dumb. Well, don't I look foolish? Alright, again, leading me nowhere. Sweet. This must be an important way. I have to fight a trainer. Oh, sorry, I wasn't reading the text. <laughs> uh, let's go. Worker Gerardo sent out a snow runt. Snow runt, you are a not very good Pokemon, but once you level up, you turn into either a decent Pokemon or a Pokemon that needed a Mega Evolution to get good. I.e. fucking... Wow, I have, like, nothing to challenge this, uh... Hound out. My team does not like fire types. Well, once Scorp gets a ground type move, that won't really matter. I don't even know if Scorp can learn Earthquake naturally. I doubt it can. The most good ground type Pokemon can't do it. I can look it up, actually, right now, if the fucking... My phone would let me do this. Gliscor. I'm challenging Black Belt David. He sent out a Nine Tails. Oh my God, he's so. Oh wow, he was right for me. He's counterpicking. What a dick. Who does that? Scorp. Uh, generation six. Wow, he doesn't even learn any ground types. Sand attack's the only ground type move fucking Gliscor could get. That's a generate. Why am I rock smashing this thing? What's wrong with me? I'm not gonna swords dance. All right, fucking professional over here. Okay, well, this has turned out all kinds of wrong. Wow, I need to fucking get some potions. Oh my god. Uh, status heal. That's ice heal. Want to burn heal? Yay! Oh man, a safeguard. I'm so fucked. Hey, snapped out of confusion. Now you're fucked! Here's level 41. Septile! Wait. No. We'll stay in. Septile's got nothing on my aerial ace. Septile, I love you. But you're so damn frail. It's not even funny how frail Septile is. Septile is like one of those Pokemon that is the definition of glass cannon. Actually, maybe I can make a Deviron. I'm probably pretty close to him. That's my guess. Fuck. Oh well. Let's just get to him and then we'll fucking... We'll, uh... Go buy some more stuff. Ace Trainer Brianna sent out a Tentacool. Wow, Tentacool. You're so intimidating. Oh my god. It's an electric type. See those plugins it's got on, on it? I watched all the Pokemon Rusty uh, the other day. I was bored. You've never watched Pokemon Rusty. It's actually interesting. Uh, oh. Let's go. A psychic Ice versus a Psychic... Er, fuck. Ice dark. See what you got, Smoochum. Pull out a fairy move. It's not even generation six, that's how bullshit this game is. It'll pull out a fairy type move on you. Yep. That doesn't shock me. One hit. 708. Lay me out. Oops, kicking the mic. Speaking of mic. Okay, audio is still recording. Just fine. As you all recall, it fucked up on me in the last part. I got all the way to the point where I beat Cyrus, and then checked, and it only recorded like the first four minutes, and then it stopped. For some reason. I don't know why. Stupid. Red tile, that's to get to Byron. What's up, bro? He's like, wait, that trainer just ran right past me. 
What the hell? I wonder if that stays there. I doubt it does. Alright, let's go get some stuff. Be right back. And we're back. Let's, uh, yeah, it's not there anymore. Okay. Let's, uh, fuck. Now I'm gonna forget where all this stuff is. Not here. Okay. One of these ones, isn't it? I think it was this one. It was not this one. God damn it. Okay, I think we're making progress here. Yeah, we're making progress. So. Uh, sun and moon next week at fucking E3. Hope should be exciting. Probably get some more new Pokemon. Maybe some new Mega Evolutions. It's my guess. As opposed to what me what Megas I want, I have no idea. I already got Sceptile. Maybe a Star Raptor, actually. Anyway. Ah, that's Ouroboros Gym Badge. I see, I see. You've defeated my son, but that's no surprise. He still has much to learn. In place of my son Rourke, I, Byron, will take your challenge. It's funny, in the anime, Byron has the same voice actor as uh, Yugi. Yami Yugi and fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. If I remember correctly. I think that's... Now I got a shock. Oh, never mind. He's dead. Is he dead? Is he will die? He dead. Torterra. Damn, if only I had an ice move. Gosh darn it. Well, the best... Best course of action is to burn this thing. And then... Confuse rate. Okay, it's got Earthquake. Yeah, I'm definitely burning it. Fuck you. Switching to Scorp. I'm not dealing with that shit. I forgot to heal Scorp. Oh, yay. God, he's taking so much health off of me. Stop Mega Draining! Okay. We need two. So it takes about 40 health per. GG. So he's taking about 40 health per a turn. Young Mega. What do I have? I got Pyrrha. Well, this was sort of easy, unfortunately. Not really, kinda. Yeah, it was. Yon Mega. Oh, what's this? My last one. This is where we make our stand. Should we go... Sh we'll go Discharge. Discharge stronger. Ancient power! Should've guessed. You know, Mega's like one of those few Pokemon that's like got a fierce, but like realistic looking design. Well, I wouldn't say realistic, but you know. It looks like what you'd expect a Dragonfly Pokemon to look like, or what you'd want a Dragonfly Pokemon. To look like. Hey, hmm, my sturdy Pokemon defeated. I got four thousand nine hundred twenty. Pokey dollars. You are strong enough to take down my prize team of Pokemon. In recognition of that power, I give you this: the Mind Badge. <laughs> Having the Mind Badge enables you to use the hidden move strength any time outside of battle. And you now have six gym badges. That means all Pokemon up to level seventy will obey you without question. Here, take this, too. TM91. I believe this is Flash Cannon? Yeah. Well... It's official. Pyrrha is OP now. Pyrrha actually has a semi-competitive moveset now, actually. <laughs> the only thing that is having Shockwave and Discharge. Shockwave I'm just keeping for... Fuck off! Hey, that's the Mind Badge! Good going! You're... Wow. Anyway. 
You're tough enough to consider becoming the Pokemon champ. Of course I'm tougher, so it's not going to actually happen. Anyway, Malcolm, come with me to the library. We have to make Barry look even faster than he is. Fuck you, Barry. I'm going to go heal my Pokemon first. Hopefully this time I don't forget to add uh, the thing to the layout. I forgot to do that last time. And yeah, that was uh, kind of silly of me. Alright, now we go talk to Barry and all of them. Too slow! Come on, let's move it! Make like Julian and move it. King Julian, that is. I remember the first time of... Or not first time, but one of the... F one of the first times I played through Pokemon uh, Diamond. I forgot about this part. It was, it was like the second time, I, so I forgot about this part. Yeah, and I skipped it. I got to like the... Uh, the next gym badge. Anyway. Okay, Gramps. I brought Malcolm, like I said. Alright, I'll be out of here. <clears throat> okay. Fuck. Okay, I get it. Hmm. Everyone's here, finally. Malcolm, everyone, listen. You may have forgotten already, but I study the evolution of Pokemon. But the more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply, like Mega Evolution. Pokemon that evolve, and those that don't. What makes them different from each other? Do those that are immature as living beings evolve to ones more mature? If so, what do we make of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? Are we to assume that the legendary Pokemon are complete as creatures? Ooh, that's fancy. This is where you three come in. In the three lakes of Sinnoh, there are said to be three... Fuck. Mirage Pokemon. If we can obtain data on them, it may shed some light on how the process of Pokemon evolution works. I need help from each one of you on how this grand, on this grand undertaking. Help me find these Pokemon that are considered to be Mirages. What are you saying? I didn't get a Pokedex. And who was it that bolted from the lab before I had a chance to give you a Pokedex? But that's water in the bridge. See Pokemon with your own eyes. It's more important to become a better trainer, too. You can count on me. It will help, help with my Pokedex, too. Malcolm, you'll go, too, won't you? I kind of went rowing there for a second. Hmm, I would have made all of you go regardless anyway. What a dick. Now there are three lakes. Fortuitously, there are three of you. You should therefore split up and investigate the lakes individually. Dawn, you go to Lake Verity. Will do. Barry, I want you to investigate Lake Aquity. That would take you almost to Snow Point City. The road there is harsh. I need a tough trainer to go. Uh, yeah, of course, Gramps. You know how to call it. You can tell I'm the hotness. And you know what? I was going to go out to the Pokemon for you. No, it's thanks for giving us our Pokemon back on Route 201, even though I forgot completely about it until just now. Very well, I'm counting on you. And that leaves Malcolm with Lake Valor. The lake is between Veilstone and Pastoria, if memory serves. Has it stopped? Are all of you unharmed? What was that about? No, wait, I mean TV. TV, news, anything. Oh, stuff is happening. Oh! Alright. Sweet. Awesome program. What you've just witnessed is actual footage from the scene. It was taken by a cameraman who happened to be there. It's certainly impressive. Who knows what the explosion could expose at the lake? Gramps said it was an explosion. Hmm, but why at Lake Valor? Let's get outside, I'm concerned about the town. You kids, be careful going down the stairs. Good guy Roan has the uh, foresight to uh, Malcolm, you should leave now too. There may be aftershocks, however, be alert always. Fucking Barry, man. I'm mixing the two of them anyway. Even he knows the importance of going downstairs slowly and not running down them like a dumbass. That tremor, that wasn't a natural occurrence. Hey, hey, old dude and kids, did you hear? They're saying there was a huge explosion at Lake Valor. But I hear everything's fine now. I guess it was just a lot of noise. Gramps, I'm going to have a bad feeling about this. And off he goes. That bear can't sit still. Malcolm, I don't like the man, but I need you at Lake Valor. It's impossible for things to be okay, not after an explosion like that. But I have no idea what is taking place. But before you go, let me stress. Don't get in over your head. We will try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Verity. Malcolm, you'll be okay no matter what, right? You betcha! And now that is the end of the episode. So if you enjoyed, leave a like and a comment. And if you're new, possibly subscribe. I almost dropped my controller. This is Malcolm360. So long. Take care.